Hey there, welcome to Knackbot. My name is Jos and today I'm gonna pimp my watch. Bonky, 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 bonky. So the thing is, I have this smartwatch and I really like it because I can uh, put my own logo on there. It's very nice. The only thing I don't like is the shape. It looks like a a piece of soap, it's, it's a, a shiny blob on my wrist. So what I want is a more interesting shape. Um, wait. It has to be somewhere in one of these drawers. Look at that, my old school retro watch. I'd like to turn this into something a little bit more like this. Okay, let's go. First I need to take off the wristband because it's time to measure. Look at my calipers. Measure the front, measure the side, measuring every detail. And I have some dimensions here. And uh, let's go ahead and put this in Illustrator. Um, I took a picture of the side and I believe that the side view uh, in combination with the measurements that I made will give me a quite an accurate uh, shape to base the volume upon. So, um, tracing the sides, copy, rotate, everything. And then uh, what I need is the front with the rounded corners. And there you go. So, putting this in 3D. Well, this doesn't really look 3D, but I'm gonna extrude um, the front shape along the side. And that will get me a nice 3D shape. And well, this should be um, uh, more or less exactly like this. So to test this out, I'm gonna make a little box and I'll chop the shape out of the box and removing these parts where the button goes and I will print this for testing purposes. Printing, 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 3D printing, bling. Yeah, look at that little box and let's see if it fits in there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's perfect. This is, um, this is very awesome. Next up, I'm gonna make a clamp. So uh, scaling the original uh, thing, and then I'm gonna remove all the parts that I don't need, and this will result in a clamp that should click on the watch. Um, yeah, so I need to remove these parts and make a hole where the screen is, and it's printing time again. Ooh, look at that, maximum failure. Mmm, spaghetti. Okay, let's uh, try this again. And this is looking a lot better. Flop. Cool. Gonna put it on my wrist. And... There we go. It's perfect. Yes, first time right. Yeah, right. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna need is only a quarter. Because I will... Uh, copy that four times and then it, it will give me the full front of the watch so freestyling a little bit making something that looks retro to me something that, uh, that looks nice fake button fake buttons on the side and then copy paste it four times and well time to print it down printing 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 sound effects so here it is, and uh, the clamp is good, the front not so much, it's too flat, I'm gonna uh, make it thicker, but also printing it in this direction, um, horizontally on the bed, doesn't give me um, a nice finish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees, and I'm gonna print it upright. And because it's so thin, I'm putting it on a raft, so it has a bit more a solid base to stand on. And here we go, printing it down again. I mean, up, upright again. And well, yeah, this is uh, this is a lot better. Cool. Uh, time to glue these pieces together, and uh, just need something heavy to press it down for a few minutes. And then it's time to sacrifice an old watch, take out the screws, and put those screws in the holes on the front that I made to make it look extra cool if you know what i'm saying look at that i really like it see if it fits and oh bam there you go retro watch well i also changed the wristband and now for the finishing touch 
I need to create a retro looking watch face with LCD style graphics, you know? So, a heart for my heart rate, a few fake texts on the side for the fake buttons, uh, a little flame that stands for the calories that I have burned, and of course a foot, I mean a shoe, for the steps that I have taken. And um, yeah, uh, let's put this in the fit face editor, putting all the elements together and then I have my nice watch face. And there it is, retro smartwatch. OMG, it's so retro. If you would like to print one yourself, you can find the files on Thingiverse. I will put the link in the description below. This is a Fitbit Versa 2, by the way. Right, now we have the retro watch. Now let's make something weird. I cannot resist uh, 3D modeling in virtual reality. It's so easy to make something. And um, so yeah, I decided to make a, once again a monster thing with big teeth. And well, this is a weird thing to put on your wrist, but you know the old saying, if you can uh, draw it in virtual reality, you have to 3D print it. Yeah, that's what they say. So that's what I do. Look at that, a monster watch. Very useful. Yes. And the fun will never end this adventure time. All right, that's it. I pin my watch. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I don't know, press this button. Bonky, 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 bonky.